I'm about to visit the Frankies, two good friends with a mini restaurant empire in Brooklyn, where they make the best eggplant sandwich I've ever eaten. You guys, I eat your eggplant sandwich, and I think, why is this eggplant sandwich so good? Couple of old grandma tricks. It's always grandma. Why do they, they just, they're the smartest. They just got the love. We get Italian eggplants. There's less seeds, they're tastier, they're smaller, they're easy to work with. Frank is gonna demonstrate with his fine French knife techniques. Cutting them about a half inch thick. Or you have the mandolin. It, it actually says, watch your fingers on it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And we salt them for about 10 minutes on both sides. So it's like a quick cure. Obviously it seasons the eggplant, but. It seasons the eggplant, it takes a lot of the water out. Okay. And the bitterness. And the bitterness. And then when they're dry, so it's just a quick little one-two on each side. Why do you do that first? When you're not relying on cooking it the second time, although it gets cooked the third time, it makes a big difference when you put it in the egg batter. Uh-huh. Because we're going to do a little uh, Pecorino Romano egg batter next, and then a quick dip, and then back in the, back in the oil. OK, so you're going to fry the eggplant once, then you're going to coat it, then you're going to fry it again, and yeah. then you're going to bake it. Your, yeah, your grandmother did all that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I knew that when I ate your sandwich, it was different. There was some kind of secret in there, but I never would have thought that it was an extra frying and then yeah. baking. It's also that extra little egg coating. So there's no flour. It's just the cheese and the eggs. Okay. You don't need salt because you salted the eggplant. That's the, so that's the, the degree. See how it's kind of flecky around it? Yep. Like that browning is from the eggplant underneath yeah. rather than from the egg. You get that smell? It smells like bacon. No, they're making a BLT. Oh, right that's what, us. all right. No wonder it smells like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so we start off with a layer of the tomato sauce. Oh, I see. So you bake it like you like you're baking a lasagna. Yeah, basically like building oh, a lasagna, okay. correct. So you do a nice layer of eggplant. You make sure it's like everything's nice tight. Everything's tight. Then we do another layer of tomato. Then we do a nice layer of pecorino. It's a little bit more pungent than Parmesan. Right. When you do it with mozzarella cheese, it's more of an Italian-American version of it. I think that this is more of how our grandparents did it 100 years ago. Yeah. Who's the better cook? Which grandma? You can't ask that question. <laughs> and then that gets baked in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. Just to melt yeah. it together. Just to bring it all together. There it is. A little extra love. And more cheese. A little cheese. Because, you know, there's not enough cheese. And important to note, yes. what, our, what our guys do is they cut oh, the bread in half. That's be so smart, because before, that way you don't have to go smush it. Yeah, you don't crush it. So you always get a perfect sandwich. Oh, gimme, Whoa. gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, that's it's so hot. Good. Be careful. I'm sorry, shirt, about what I'm about to do to you. It's going to go. Mm. Yes. That is so good. Yeah. Crunchiness of the bread, the softness of the eggplant, that oily flavor, and the cheese, and the tomato. Do you deliver to my house, please? Absolutely. <laughs>